Okay, so this headline is a bit um, deceiving, but back in, I believe it was 2011, Guy Fieri, uh, mayor of Flavortown, got his Lamborghini stolen while it was being serviced in San Francisco. The guy who stole the car was at the time 16 years old, just like a random kid came into the dealership, stole his car. Police officers couldn't find him for a whole year, even though there have been reports that people have seen the car in San Francisco for an entire year, just kind of driving around. They finally arrested him, and he actually ended up getting life in prison because he also tried to kill a couple of people. So on top of- Kill a couple of people. Yeah. Wow. Oh yeah, the, the killing will get you life in prison. Yeah. I thought, so, I thought they got life in prison for stealing Flavortown's Lamborghini. Yeah, that's what the article made it seem, but no, he was arrested and given life in prison because of attempted murder. Well, you know, they, they, in, in the quality of life crimes of New York City, there was this theory that people that do little crime also do big crime. If you do little shitty things that you can get away with, if, you, if you're a shitty person, and, and you, you take what doesn't belong to you and you lie and you steal, especially stealing. If you, if you take somebody's possessions, you know, or whatever it might be, chances are you are a very deeply unethical person to begin with. Mm -hmm. Like you can, you can draw a parallel. My experience has always been, if you really look at a person's life and how they live their life, how many people do they help how are they behaving in general? What do people say about them across the board? And, and it, you know, usually those people have a track record of being shitheads. So it's not surprising that if you're, yeah, I know 16 year olds do crazy things. So I'm not saying you steal a car at 16. Was he 16? Yeah, of course he, was he 16? He at the time, yeah. At the time, but now he's probably older. And, and you know, but you, sometimes people are just shitty. And, They've done some research on even children that are sort of psychotic. There, there, are, there are like these sort of, not jails, but almost like these hospital slash, you know, holding areas for kids that are so impossible that they had to be put away from people. And the New York Times did an article about it. And they, are, they, they exhibit, even at like 11 and 12, even younger, they exhibit classic sociopathic tendencies. Well, I'm like sure, try, and I'm sure they all have shitty parents. I'm sure that's no, a, not that's the crazy thing is a lot of them don't. A lot of them have very normal parents with really normal siblings, but the problem is they the, one of them will try to kill one of their siblings because it gets them an advantage of something. So there are bad eggs born, and it's a really complicated, rough thing to talk about because you know the question becomes: is, Are you born a bad egg sometimes? That the evidence scientifically apparently is maybe. No, the evidence shows it's most of your upbringing. That's the majority. It's, it's, it's both, but we definitely know. I that mean, there's there something for it, but the majority would be your upbringing. Yes, 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 100%. 100%. But there are, there, there, you're 100% right, but there are yeah. sociopaths. Mm -hmm. There are people that just for sure. are not born with that capacity to love and care for people for or sure. even think about other people. Well, that flavor town kid's going away for life, so. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. You stole a car at 16. Oh, by the way, trying to kill a couple people. Not one person, but a couple people. That's where you go. Oh. All right. I'm going to tell you this right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch your tone. Oh, okay. What's going to happen? What are you going to do? Use some of that. <laughs> Boxing you've been doing? <laughs> Don't you fucking disrespect. <laughs> hey. Hey.